Welcome back, everybody. I'm sure you've already mastered the last time we were talking about passing diminished, which was in terms of major. But the important things to realize is that you can also do it in minor. So I want to jump right into it today and I'll show you this C minor to G7 back and forth. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, head on over to the passing diminished video for major and it'll kind of lay out all the reasons why. But we can apply the same logic to a minor chord. So. This is what it might sound like in minor if we're alternating on a long sound, maybe C minor six and G seven using the F, A flat, B, and D, diminished arpeggio to go along with it. That's the first thing on the PDF, the two quadrats. And if we're alternating back and forth and improvising, Right? There's unlimited uses. Again, you can play so many different ways, but understanding the framework of all of this is going to help you. So if you need some music to look at, you're a visual person, and you don't want to just learn it from me showing it to you right now, head down below. There's a PDF you can download. So I just showed you the first part of the PDF. Now we're going to go into the second, which is going to go all in the same direction. <laughs> And then we apply it weaving. So that's just the beginning. Once you've practiced it up and down, alternating, you want to start to take it and improvise with it like I was doing at the beginning. So we just say, here's a tempo, and we're playing C minor 6 and then G7, or that diminished, that B diminished arpeggio. One, two, three. <laughs> Right? You can hear how we're going back and forth. Just alternating, using those two sounds, alternating back and forth between those two quadrats, if you want to be all kind of technical and talk about things in music theory terms. So go ahead, start shedding this, because it's, if you can do it in major and you can do it in minor, it's really going to help you play a lot of bebop tunes. It's, you're going to start hearing this in there. You're going to be like, oh, that's what that is. It's really just the first step in unlocking this stuff. Again, if you didn't hear me in the last video, Barry Harris, go check out Barry Harris. Find He's got a lot, a lot of videos on YouTube. You can watch full master classes that he's giving where he's talking about this, playing it on the piano, and really, really explaining it even more in depth, uh, showing you different ways of playing these scales and things of that nature. So thanks for being here. I hope this helps you. Download that PDF and uh, start shedding. You got 11 more keys to go. So you got major, minor, passing, diminished. Happy practicing. See you in the next video.